Rebels 2-2 two two in conference play, trying to do better than that. Texas A&M still looking to hit their stride. Welcome, everybody. Tully's oh, breath doesn't smell too good, though. <laughs> Kellen Mond to throw. Deep out route, and that's complete for a first down. He had more success than you did with Anderson Peters trying to throw a javelin. The night for Texas A&M. And they're going to reverse it. Courtney Davis finds the edge, gets a block, may have been a block in the back, and he turns in a first down. Most, I mentioned earlier that AM was without some key players, really, on both sides of the ball tonight. Glenn Beal and Michael Clemens were both in. Second and nine. Mike McIntyre brings an extra man. Mon running the option. Mon takes it straight up field. Mon's got a first down to the 25 yard line. And that's the running game we talked about coming more from the quarterback than other spots. And I love it. He's made a field goal in 12 straight games. You can make it 13. And AM is on the board on their second possession. It's a 10 play, 73 yard drive. And we should see a lot of nickel tonight for Texas A&M. Jarian Ely. The freshman's got the sideline. He's got speed to the 10, and he stays on his feet for a 69-yard touchdown run. Nice. has been their real threat. He goes over the middle, and it's a big catch by the tight end, Jalen Weidermeyer. And it will go for a Texas A&M first down after a gain of 29. Mon finds Weidermeyer for a second consecutive play, spins off the tackler. He's got back-to-back -back first downs. Let's get... And so A&M moving the chains at the... Probably career long is 52. And... And that one's leaking and it misses wide right that Luke's team with a big defensive stop to back up they're going I'd still like to see Ole Miss utilize the middle of the field they throw to the edges deep a lot and I Smith he's got room Smith past the logo and past midfield 44 yard punt 34 yard return Kellamon out of the shotgun. There's a little play action. He's looking for Osmond. Now it goes back and he throws it right to the other team. Intercepted by Ole Miss and Austrian Robinson. Multiple flags after the play. Ole Miss gets the ball back. Wow. Safety blitz coming. Plumley gives it up and AM is all over it. Scotty Phillips met up with Buddy Johnson. Pressure coming. Mon can't escape. He's sacked for the third time. This one is Charles Wiley, and it costs the Aggies 11 yards. Low snap. Mon recovers over the middle. Tipped and intercepted. An old miss takeaway by Dante Evans. He listed as records gained by the freshman quarterback on the ground. Plumley pulls it back, lobs it, and he's able to find his tight end, Cooley. And it's some creativity. John Rice Plumley ad-libs his way to an Ole Miss first down and again a 16. That right there. Five wide again. And a quarterback run again, and it is taken down. Tyree Johnson. And AM has won the chess match the last couple. That's a loss of three. Wow. And a really his career long is 41. Got the leg, but that one's pushed right. And both kickers have missed long field goals going that direction in the fog. Remember that 43-0 loss? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Bond over the middle. He's finding his tight end. Another big play. It's not just a catch, but a catch and run from Jalen Weidermeyer. And a great drive starter here in the two-minute drill. AM all their timeouts, so they have an eternity right now. Don't really need to push the tempo. You're going to see them go no huddle, but they might take their time evaluating the defense pre-snap. Watermeyer, 6'5", 260. He's a great high school basketball player as a shooting guard and a wing. 
That's big. Go, go, the outside go. catch made after the defender slipped, and it's the first target for Jamon Osmond, and it turns into a first down. Aggies rolling here now. Because they felt bad for him. Yeah. Over the middle, complete. That's Courtney Davis. The guys from Chilam throw a better javelin than you do. It's a gain of 15. Love what AM's doing right now. They're attacking the middle of the field. Osmond goes to a corner route, and it's caught in the end zone for an Aggie touchdown on the outside, Kendrick Rogers. Man coverage, and Mon takes advantage with an 18-yard scoring strike. Osmond in the slot had a two-way go. He could take the middle or go up the seam to be able to launch this, but I like what Texas A&M's doing here. They're rushing Corral's right side. He unloads. He's got the depth into the end zone. Everybody there, and the ball falls incomplete. Ole Miss's clock management costs him a possible win at home. Stadium. John Rice Plumley is the Ole Miss quarterback. He hands it up to Scotty Phillips. He finds a huge hole. Phillips trying to break away. The stiff arm gets him 10 more, and Phillips trips off a 39-yard run. Boy, right out the gate, just a great block on the left side of the line of scrimmage. Old it's third and seven. Three-man rush, essentially. He'll lob it. And that is popped on the sideline by Scotty Phillips. What beautiful touch on the pass. It goes for 22. Frank Plumley. Straight ahead, Scoop Connor. Touchdown Ole Miss to the Rebels back in front. Ole Miss brings four. They get to Mond with four. And he goes down for the fourth time tonight. Sam Williams set out the first half, and the junior making his impact felt well off the edge. You're going to see him working right here on the right tackle. Carson Green really just gets his hands out of the way. A quick swim move. Didn't even need it. Green got Wisconsin going down. It's a great game. Illinois with a walk-off kick to win it. Scotty Phillips thrown down by Jaden Peavy. Really thought Wisconsin was going to. That makes a linebacker start to play real hesitant. After six consecutive runs, Plumlee's showing pass, and he gets dropped. The ball came out, scooped up by AM. Aggies have it. It's Buddy Johnson, the former high school quarterback, and he'll take it the rest of the way. 63 yards in a scoop and score, and AM's defense bails him out. Ole Miss had so much momentum on that drive. That right there shows the youth of John Rice Plumley throwing the football. Normal drop back, stayed in the pocket. He's got to stay there. He does not have to vacate the pocket just yet. And if he does, he needs to run away from pressure to his left. A lot of young quarterbacks gravitate to escaping the pocket to your right. He escaped right into traffic. That's what led to that. Two running backs and a running quarterback. And a bad snap. Ball scooped up to pick up the first down and more. Scoop Connor off to the races. Just like you drew it up. He remembered his green hat this time. It's a 34-yard run off of a poor snap. He started this game on right guard, now playing center. Phillips hit in the backfield by Matabike. No gain. On a foggy night in Oxford, second and goal. Very slow developing run by Scotty Phillips. No gain. Plumley Can't escape Texas A&M and Devin Morris. That is a complete bust. I, I, I'm pretty sure. And he's already made from 50 tonight to tie the game. Whoa! A&M got a piece of it. And the Aggies will watch it get into the end zone. Ole Miss can't connect. They had first and goal from the 10. They get nothing out of it. Good last. Corral lets it go. Intercepted. Texas A&M gets it from Chapman. I do not like the play call here. 
He's averaging just three yards a carry tonight. He's got lead blockers, and he's got a first down. Khan stays inbounds to take it all the way down to the 20. 15-yard run. What made you say that? Missed it. He pushed it right. And the Aggies come up with nothing. But the defender on that angle should have third and five play. Should have been plenty of time, right? With only a three-man rush. Yeah. That is a beautiful punt. It turns over and it checks up. And it'll trickle to the pylon and out of bounds. What a fantastic job. A 55-yarder from Braden Mann, the reigning Ray Guy Award winner. Shane Leckler, the nine-time Pro Bowler, will be pleased with this one. That guy's the man. Punter U. AM living up to their reputation. Punters celebrate too. That quarterback getting the run going. Corral pressure. Pushed out towards the back of the end zone and incomplete. Had a wide receiver there, but it'll be the three and out. Outside the tackle box, through the ball beyond Whew. the line of scrimmage. There is no foul for intentional grounding. Fourth down. Oh, Miss Russell. Let's see if they bring it. They're going to back off. Mon running. Mon first down. He seems to be able to see the hole even before it opens. Ryan Rennick, one of the tight ends. Weidemeyer, the other. They run behind Weidemeyer, and they got a first down and more. Spiller, touchdown, Texas A&M. 22 yards. Aggies take the lead here. Start in and just doesn't get back outside to stop contain here. Does a good job at first, but you got to see this coming. Got to get back outside off that block as quick as possible. Hangs on the block a little too long and isn't able to come off and get Spiller in time. Texas A&M looks like they're just going to rush three. They flush him. Corral escapes and he gets to the marker. Fresh set of downs. Clock will stop for a moment. 120. Had one blocked a while ago, and he pushes this one through. Bounce, and he can still take a fair catch on that high hop. Yeah. There you go. That's a good one. And Ole Miss punches it forward. The Rebels can't quite get it. Oh, turn viability. Illegal batting. The ball forward by the kicking team. The ball was out of bounds after it later being touched by the receiving team. The ball belongs to Texas A&M. Ten-yard penalty be added to the out-of-bounds spot. Their ball, first down. There was. And that'll do it. Aggies take the knee. And they will run out the clock on Ole Miss. Aggies got a big block field goal. They got a fumble return of 62 yards for a score for Buddy Johnson. They put up with an inconsistent offensive attack. They included a pair of picks thrown by Kellen Mond, but they hold on for the victory. 